Hi, this is 333 Crypto. As always, I'm doing my daily DeFi and crypto update. Please understand everything I say is hypothetical and speculative. I'm not a financial advisor, so please make no financial decisions based upon anything I say. All right, folks, so the market, the market has been red. Um, lots of manipulation, in my opinion. You know, about once or twice a year, we get the old China's banning Bitcoin, China's banning crypto, China's banning everything. And I promise you what is going on as they say that is they are buying things up. Now, China is a communist country, so they can do whatever they want. A very small few control the many and they can do whatever they want to the many. Um, that is the problem um, sometimes in that type of government. So, um that being said, we've also seen in the past India, you know, we any day now we might get the old India is banning everything um, because typically around the time we hear China is banning everything, we hear that India is banning everything. And trust me, trust me, trust me, it's all about manipulation because they know crypto is going nowhere. It is early. It is the beginning of something wonderful and beautiful. Um, and they know it. So they do everything they can to take your tokens, right? I mean, we saw that recently with, uh, you know, Coinbase saying, hey, we're going to buy $500 million worth of tokens. And then a few, of probably DeFi, quite frankly. And then a few days later, we hear how they are not going to open their lending platform because they are getting looked at with scrutiny by our regulators, right? And then we saw how Uniswap is being looked at by our, our regulators. Now, trust me, what, what, what a decentralized protocol um, for trading, what, which, which one would you think would be the big target of Wall Street? Well, it's very obvious. It's Uniswap, right? It's Uniswap. It's the biggest, it's the best, it is what it is. Now, I'm a sushi fan. I'm a big fan of sushi, um, but I am a Uniswap user and I am a MetaMask madman. Um, and with MetaMask, you can attach and trade on Uniswap and sushi. So yes, 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 they want Uniswap. They do, they do, they do. Thus the nastiness, Not thus the deception. Little do these people know that if they just led lives of integrity and decency, we could have way more prosperity than the false prosperity that we see. Back in the day when the worker was cared for, back in the day when the middle class was loved, back in the day when this country was manufacturing things, people were treated well. We had a strong middle class. We had a society of laws. We had a society of good things. We had wonderful and beautiful days. Um, and those are gone because now we live in a society where the big dogs deceive to manipulate and steal from you and I. So we need to understand that, folks. We need to understand that that is what the big dogs are doing. It just is what it is. So if you look at DeFi, folks, it's real easy. Uh, you know, we had this high here in September. Um, we were at about $142 billion. We were traced a little bit, but I'm telling you, um, the long-term trend is up and DeFi will continue to run. It's not going anywhere. This isn't 2017. I say it over and over and over. If you go down here, now we know the big dogs are safe, right? And everybody should have a big bag of big dogs. Um, you know, again, I don't give financial advice. I just tell you how I see it. And when I sell you these things, I am talking to myself. I do talk to myself. I'm that guy that you pull up next to in the car that is talking to himself. Um, and then I just pretend I'm, I'm talking to someone on the phone. Just kidding. <laughs> that happened today. I actually was talking to myself and the lady next to me was looking at me. And I thought, wow, she thinks I'm crazy. Um, anyway, I wasn't singing. I was simply talking. So um, right here, folks, European institutional investors are embracing Ethereum DeFi. I've told you all along, Ethereum is king. Now, I'm not knocking other chains, folks, but right now, Ethereum is king. And until you take the title from the UFC champ, he is the UFC champ. So I always do root for the underdogs, but gosh, I root for Ethereum because they are good. And I like Vitalik Buterin. I like their founder. I think he's a good guy. So we know we can buy a lot of these big dogs here, um, but we've been looking at smaller caps lately. And we talked about um, Liquidy, which again is a great pro protocol. We talked about Bpro, again, which is a great protocol, right? We talked about a super, 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 super small token, um, which I don't normally do. Um, we talked about that, and, and, and that's the uh, 
future token, PHTR. And again, that is a great protocol. All of these tokens are going to head in the right direction ultimately. So um, you just have to trust the path. But liquidity, again, is a great lending protocol. It's actually held up despite the nastiness in the market. Um, you know, you just have to find the gems and hold them, folks. You can't sit here and worry. You can't look at the red days. Don't do that to yourself. When the day is red, tell yourself, today I shall not worry about crypto. I shall exercise. I shall read philosophy. I shall read spiritual things. I shall pursue the Lord above. I shall do good things on the red days and get stronger and better and trust the path. Red is beautiful if you understand that red is beautiful. Convex Finance, another one at 867. I think despite the madness, despite all the red, I think Convex has held its own. I think Convex is looking good. Um, if you look here, there's just a lot of convex uh, curve getting locked up in the convex protocol. Convex curve, 108.34 million, right? 830,000 curve locked in one uh, curve in one day. 51% of daily emissions are going to the convex protocol from the curve protocol. 79.14% of all circulating curve is now locked up as VE curve. Think about it, folks. Convex protocol is taking over the curve protocol. It is what it is. 37.68% of convex circulating supply has been locked into convex governance, which means the governance at convex is strong. Convex is a great protocol. BPRO is a great protocol. These are good protocols, folks. And, and PH, you know, TR, future, is a great protocol. Um, in fact, I have talked to the devs um, a bit, and they tell me uh, very soon, very soon, they will be releasing their new uh, website. Now, when, when I say website, that, that doesn't mean they're just putting out a new website. The website is going to have all the features and all of the uh, protocol features that they're bringing forth. Um, that is going to really get the attention of uh, big money, more big money, even though we know there's a lot of big money already attracted to this protocol. Um, but this is going to attract more attention, and it's going to allow people to put together their own index, uh, you know, bags in essence. And, and folks are going to put together their, be able to put together their own indices. And with those indices, they will be able to have folks invest into the indices they create. Um, so big things ahead for, you know, for future. It just is what it is. We talked about their backers. Um, but you have to trust the path on these little protocols. Now, I did find something interesting. We had talked about the Fold token, F-O-L-D. And this one really ran, folks. I, when I brought this to you, it was 5 to $7. It ran up quite high. Um, I was looking here on their Telegram. And I'm just going to show you what it says and read it to you. I'm not going to interpret it. I'm going to leave that up to you uh, to interpret. Um, but I do need to show you something they said there. Just now remember that what Manifold does is when you enter, uh, what they're hoping to do is when you enter an order on Sushi, they're going to work in the dark forest to decrease your gas costs and even reimburse your gas costs um, to try to save money for the users on Sushi and to try to profit from that transaction. And then I noticed that Manifold had said two things here, and, and I, I don't want to interpret this for you. I want you to interpret it, and I just think you need to know it if you've looked at the Fold token. It says, progress currently dealing with two blocking issues, Nethermind client unable to import new canonical blocks with a reorg, openmev.org being listed as a phishing site with MetaMask, we know the team at Nethermind and already are working with them to get this resolved. MetaMask recently op added OpenSea.io to its whitelisted domain. Registry is in its phishing database. This has had the effect of flagging any domain, blah, blah, blah. So what they're saying here, there's a little hold up. There's a little catch. They're trying to work through that. Um, and then I saw something else here uh, that I also felt needed to be shared. It said, it's not an official announcement. However, I do want to give you guys an update with regard to SushiSwap integration. Sam, who's the big, the head of uh, Manifold, Sam has submitted what looks to be a final version of the edited pull request. Integration is on track. However, however, SushiSwap is asking for more time to cover their bases. It could happen anytime, but as Grills mentioned, this is complex tech. The aim is always to deliver according to, um, to the roadmap, 
though it should be clear that delays can and do occur. So um, I want y'all to interpret that. I don't want to interpret it. My job is to bring you the information, but that's on Fold, F-O-L-D, so the Manifold token. So we've had a lot of great things, but I just don't want y'all to doubt the tokens or the protocols that you're interested in. Liquidity, Convex, these are good protocols. All of the protocols we talk about are wonderful. Instadap is another one. This thing is so solid. And again, um, Instadap, I-N-S, Instadap, I-N-S-T, this thing has $11.1 billion in the protocol, and it's got a $73 million market cap. Can I, you know, if y'all can't see manipulation in that, folks, I'm not, I'm not training you well, because we're, we're here to teach, we're here to learn. That's manipulation. And I promise you, if you're sitting around and you're the folks at Coinbase, if I'm in the Coinbase room and I'm an advisor, this is what I'm telling him. Buy liquidity, buy Instadap, buy Convex right now, right now. They're up and running protocols and they're solid and they have a big dog future. And then if they ask me, hey, what other small protocols do you see that could potentially rock it down the road? What, what other ones? And I'd say, hey, check out future, future finance. And, and that's why I bring these things to you folks because I see potential. Again, I don't give investment advice. I just see potential and I share potential when I see it. It is what it is. We are here to learn together. But regardless, there's so many other tokens we've talked about. I can go on and on. There's the super solid ones. There's the ones with potential growth. There's so many wonderful tokens and we're gonna start digging into some of the ones we've talked about before. You just have to understand and trust the path. If you gave up on a token when it was ranked at 1,000 and it's ranked in the top 10 now, you would regret it. Do not be a regretter. Be a positive thinker. Trust the path. Be strong. Do your research. And if you don't like a token, sell it. If you like a token, buy it. But trust the path. Now, don't forget that I also have a, uh, I have my own um uh, if you go right here, Telegram, I have my own Telegram, and that's a free-for-all in there. Y'all are welcome to talk about anything good, especially DeFi and crypto. Please don't be rude or nasty or say bad things. There's even people in there that are critical of me on occasion. I certainly don't mind if you're critical of me. I mean, perhaps uh, I look and go, wow, they're right. Maybe I am doing something, you know, but you're welcome to talk about what you want to talk about, but that is a good place to chat and discuss crypto. I always drop hints here and there in there on occasion. Um, just because I like to share. But that really is a space for you. It's a safe space where you can chat about what you want to chat about. Everybody knows I have a Twitter, and that's also a great place. So folks, just trust the path. Trust in DeFi. Everything will go as it, as I, as it should. You just have to trust it. So God bless. Have a great evening, and thank you for listening.